Hello there guys, welcome back to Unistalks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. Chelsea Football Club man, this football club, this football club wants to peel my eyes out of its sockets and make me want to bounce them off a wall somewhere, cut them into two and throw it out the window and say I don't need them because I don't need to see anymore. You know, this is where... <laughs> This is where it's going. If you think this has gone too extreme already, then I'm about to explain why. Without further ado, we're going to get right into this. Just before we do, I'm going to say, if you didn't check video number one earlier on today, go and have a look. See what's happening over there. As Sesco decided to officially stay at RB Leipzig, we get into all of that um, in that video. Let's crack on with video number two. And let's start with the big elephant in the room. And that's what Chelsea have decided to go and do, right? Here's the latest from Matt Law. I, I, I'm going to show this in chronological order of how it transpired throughout today and this evening. And then we'll get into what I think. Here it is. Breaking. Chelsea have stepped up interest in Aston Villa's John Duran, right? Goes on to say, is John Duran the solution to Chelsea's striker problem? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Chelsea have at least two other strikers on their shortlist for this summer. John Duran is attainable. Chelsea's options may include Dominic Solanke, who is reported to have a £65 million release clause in his Bournemouth contract. That's from Matt Law. Right? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. We're not done. Here's more. Aston Villa's forward. John Duran is under consideration at Stamford Bridge. Any deal would be separate from Gallagher's potential move to Villa Park. That's from The Athletic. The Guardian goes on to say Chelsea want Duran in Gallagher swap. Aston Villa likely to demand at least £40 million. Gallagher unlikely to agree to join Aston Villa, but that won't deter Chelsea. Uh, Fabrizio then come in and said Aston Villa want big money for John Duran, 35 to 40 million pounds. The player is also wanting Chelsea as a priority over other clubs and is really keen on joining them. Talks have taken place and we're not done. John Duran remains one of the names on Chelsea's shortlist since January. Initial approaches between Chelsea and Aston Villa took place as Villa asked for info on Gallagher. Aston Villa valued Duran around 35 to 40 million pounds. Understand Duran gives priority to Chelsea over Italian clubs. So, we've gone from Osimhen to Sesco. <laughs> Two rumblings, little rumours, little whispers of a certain player, Alvarez, to John Duran. Now, <laughs> I want to be perfectly clear. I'm not against having John Duran. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come on here and say don't get John Duran. No, like as a player, no. I'd take John Duran. I would take John Duran. I would. But in what capacity? That's the question. That's the thing we've got to really focus on here. He's someone that couldn't get into the Aston Villa team because of Ollie Watkins, right? But I would take John Duran. I would take him as one of three strikers that we'd have at the club. No problem. We're going into next season, four competitions. Going to take them seriously this year, I hope, right? Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Conference League. Load of games. There will be game time. We can't rely on one guy all the time, especially with our injury record. We've got to play it safe. So there will be game time. A team and a squad that's competing on that many fronts needs three strikers. Three. So I would like Jackson, Duran, and a number one striker. Yeah? Someone that's going to set the example and get the other two to develop and fix up their raw attributes whilst shadowing whoever is this number one guy, yeah? Because that's only going to help Jackson, who is still raw, and that's only going to help John Duran, who's even younger and even more unproven. So I'd take John Duran because I've got to be honest, I think, I think there's a good player there. I think there's a, there's a talented raw striker there. I do. I like the way that his uh I like the way that he takes his shots, he's decisive, he doesn't hesitate. And he knows how to hit him with power. He's got good power. But I do like his 
His instinct is good. But there's other things that need absolute work. Absolute work. He's not ready. He's just not ready. If you think it's a wise decision to take John Duran and throw him into Chelsea Football Club and go, you're going to be competing with Jackson and you're going to be up for the number one spot. This is suicide. Suicide. Like I said, I'm not saying there's not a good player there. There is a good player there and I'd take him as part of the squad. I would take him, but in no man's land would I be relying on John Duran as a number one guy. No way. Maybe in two years. Maybe in three years. Not now. What are we doing? But that's not the issue because getting John Duran, like I said, wouldn't be a problem. But for how much? 40 mil. Are you mad? Villa, are you crazy? Actually, no, you know what? I'm not, I'm not blaming Villa here. No, 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 you know what? They're doing what they've got to do. They're hustling. They're trying to get as much money as possible. Fair play, right? Chelsea are entertaining this. We better not. <laughs> we better not. I'm just saying. 40 million. What are we doing? What's the point? If you're going to pay 40 million for John Duran, or you're entertaining triggering the release clause of Dominic Solanke, who's 65... Knock on Man City's door and just give them 75. What are we doing? Go and get Alvarez and bring him in. I don't see the problem here. Man City, I honestly believe if, if Alvarez wants to have game time and wants to leave to get game time, throw that money on the table and I don't think City are going to turn that down. I don't think they will. But at least attempt to go in for that first, then to blow more than half of that amount that you could put into Alvarez on an unproven John Duran. I think it's crazy. I think it's insane. I think it's nuts. I would take John Duran if we were to pay 20 million. I'd take John Duran for 20. I think in terms of his age, his level, where he is, uh, what he's done, which isn't too much. Let's be real. He played, how many, how many games did he play? Eight. Oh no, but the data says so. Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? If we end up paying 40 million for John Duran, we're finished. I'm sorry, we're done. We're, we, we, pfft. It wouldn't surprise me. Just to say, it wouldn't surprise me. But I, would, I think it'd be completely crazy. Completely crazy. Um, so that's where I stand on it. I don't think he's a bad player. I would take John Duran. Part of the squad, not a problem. 20 mil, small fee, cool, easy, fantastic. But if Villa are expecting 40 million and we're bringing him in and we're bringing him in to try and be the number one guy, we have lost our minds. <laughs> we have lost our minds. If we had any, we've lost our marbles. Unbelievable. Here is what. CFCPYS, who's got his sources, decided to come out and say, and I thought I'd pay attention to this because it's interesting. I just thought I'd add a little bit of salt. Here we go. Per Aston Villa source, he says, Duran is a good player with potential, but needs the system to suit him and game time. One of the reasons the club are willing to listen to offers is due to his attitude, with Unai Emery believing he needs to grow up. Brilliant. Yeah, that, that, that fits the bill. That fits the bill. Because you know what that tells us? That tells us that he's a kid. And we like kids at Chelsea. So bring him in. Yeah, we'll, we'll absolutely bring him into the nursery. Not a problem. We will show him the ways. We will show him how to be a good little boy. Not a problem. We'll do that. Because that's what we do now. We're a nursery. We take in all the kids. <laughs> this football club, man. I was honestly thinking, you know what? I hope that there's going to be something excited to get about this transfer window. I hope we've learned our ways. I hope we start looking at some levels now. Yeah? And then we are honestly now considering to pay 40 million for John Duran. I... Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below. That's all I have to say on that. Let me know. I'm baffled. Baffled. This football club never ceases to amaze me never ceases to amaze me it's never a boring day at Chelsea that's for sure it's a crazy day at Chelsea that's for sure but it's never a boring one let's move to Michael Elise now now we're talking about pedigree and levels and players that we do know come with a certain you know stature right here's the latest from David Ornstein 
We are getting rumblings that those clubs interested in Michael Lise, Chelsea, City, United and Newcastle, are being advised to go to Crystal Palace and strike a deal. Chelsea encountered problems with the clause last year and no one wants to do it wrong. It seems that that's the preference of Elise and when a club agrees with Palace, he will weigh it up and decide whether to stay or go. That process is going to come relatively rapidly. So, that's the latest on Elise. Are Man City interested in this guy? Can I just confirm? I hope not. We haven't heard about City being interested in Elise since last year. This season now, what's going on now in this transfer window that's about to commence, Chelsea United are the two teams. We've not heard City or Newcastle or anyone else come into this. So are they interested? Because look, if City are interested, we've got a problem. <laughs> Let's just be honest. We've got a problem. It's City. It's Pep. And you could argue that there might be a spot for a winger. You could argue that. They've got Doku on one side. Uh, Foden can come central. Uh, they, mm, yeah, Grealish. Yeah. There's a spot there for an Elise for sure. But Chelsea and United seem to be the two teams that were primarily pr primarily interested. What I'm hoping is going to happen with this is Chelsea act quickly. This is what I'm saying. This is what I said yesterday. Chelsea need to act fast. But I'm confused because there's. We keep hearing constantly that, oh no, but you know, talking to Crystal Palace, talking to Crystal Palace, talk what's there to talk about? There's a release clause. I don't understand. What's there to talk about? The only way to talk about it is if you do what Chelsea have done previously with other players, and if you offer more than the release clause, therefore you can dictate the payment structure. Because with a, re with a release clause, you can't dictate a payment structure. It's trigger the release clause. And to trigger the release clause, you've got to pay. So... <laughs> That's it. That's why there's no talking with the club. If you're talking with the club, you can offer a bit more than the release clause and then work out installments, work out a payment structure, work out how they're going to get their money. That's the only... Wait, so unless all the clubs are looking to do that, I don't see any reason to talk to Crystal Palace. The primary concern here is the player. Go and get this done ASAP. Especially like while United are still looking for a manager and they don't know what direction they're going in. The coast is clear. The more longer, the longer we go on, the worse it's going to get. We snooze, we lose. Simple as that. So that's the latest on Elise. If we don't get a top striker and we miss out on Elise and we pay 40 million for Duran, I swear, I might as well just, you know, end it all. <laughs> that's just, it's just what are we doing? What would we be doing? I hope that's not going to be the case. I hope. And this is why I said I've come in with a mind into this transfer window, hearing what we're hearing and going, please, are they finally starting to do things in the right way? Please. Let's wait and see. Let me know your thoughts. To wrap up on the update from earlier on, here it is. Benjamin Sesko will sign his new deal at RB Leipzig until June 2029 on Wednesday in the next 24 hours. There will be a gentleman agreement for Sesko exit in 25 or 26. Meanwhile, he's staying as star of the project. Exclusive story confirmed. What project? The, the Red Bull project. Okay, <laughs> just thought I'd get that out there. Um, but yes, Sesko staying and there's a gentleman agreement. Like I said in video number one earlier on today, that doesn't hold weight. House carry Kane. Gentleman agreement, nah, get things down on paper. He's got one thing on paper, and that's a 2029 deal staying at RB Leipzig. So that's his latest. He's staying. He's not going anywhere. So he's out of the question for this entire transfer window. So now it's about who everyone's going to turn to. This is where we return to what we started with. Chelsea are considering turning into John Durant. So we're going to end it there. Let me know your thoughts down below. Much appreciated. And um, yeah, let me just let me know what you think on all of this. Would you take Durant? Firstly, but would you take Duran for 40 mil? Secondly, there's two different questions here because I would take Duran, but I wouldn't for 40 mil. <laughs> That's crazy. But let me know your thoughts. Much appreciated. And I will see all of you tomorrow for a brand new one or brand new two. Make sure you're here. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell to be notified. Once I've uploaded, check out the socials in the description and they were just on screen. And I'll catch all of you tomorrow for those brand brand new double upload videos all right i'll see you lot then have a good one people see you tomorrow take care and peace